If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Just another poke it out. If you are still here, please, please add me. GG Fortissimo. If you are still here, please add me. <coughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Cosme. Thank you so much for the follow. If you are still here, just another poke it out. Yeah. Okay. So I do remember that you were. Uh, there you go. Another poke it out. All right. So I will send you the challenge. You're waiting to play the sauce, the sauce against me, but you're not on the, I already played you on tape floater. Did I already play you? If not, then you need to add to type battle on the, on the chat to be added to the raffle. I don't think you did. No, you weren't in the thing. But now you are. Now you are. I, I guess you probably typed the battle me, but not the battle. Okay, but now you have. You know? All right. <clears throat> maybe it didn't register. Or maybe I didn't look right. But now I see you. Yeah, you're definitely, definitely there. Okay, so this is gonna be a probable mirror match. It's going to be a probable mirror match. So I'm gonna go ahead and still wish for a friend ball. That way I don't have to discard a card to find <coughs> my station, which is really cool. Really, really cool. So I'll bench, I'll bench, I'll attach here. And then sure, I'll Metal Saucer both. And I don't mind using the Dene here. <coughs> I benefit from having a metal in the discard pile. I don't really need or want the um, the Persian in this matchup. I do want the Berserker though. And I don't want to use the Acrobite yet. I don't really need to. Switch and double Oranguru. Like I would have had to choose between Oranguru and Switch probably or I would have just tossed away a Switch. So just because you can doesn't mean you need to. Why is there a Persian to have a better chance against mill decks? You know? Bin man, you have been added. There you go. Okay, so there's the Dene. I'd imagine this is gonna be Station ADP based on the Super Scoop Ups and the Energy Spinner. Uh, the Shrine is definitely annoying. No ADP apparently. Chose to, hmm, this is odd. I feel like, wait, what? What? <laughs> okay, there's a Snorlax VMAX right here which I was certainly not expecting. 
there's the ADP, but I feel like, I don't know, with the research that my opponent had, it would have been much better to go for ADP and spinner, guarantee the water, etc. Not sure. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> what is exactly right? Like, it's Norlax, VMAX, in ADP. Interesting inclusion for sure. Definitely gives you a big Pokemon to tank a hit and also do a lot of damage. <coughs> Where's the ADP Macargo deck? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna acro. I don't feel like I need Marnie too much. I wish my opponent attached energy so I could remove it with the Lucario metal. Um, so there's merit to both, but I only have two metals in the discard pile, so I'm gonna choose the metal. And I'm definitely gonna switch here. Definitely gonna still wish for a research for next turn. And so I'm thinking of just holding on to this hand for now. Primary Wisdom here. And then I'll go ahead and attack. No, I'll keep the energy for now. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the energy for now. I'll keep this as well. I'm just gonna Intrepid Sword because I really want this energy for uh, this. Because what I'm hoping will happen is my opponent will next turn go Brave Blade KO this guy. And I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. Because then I use my no metal to remove the energies and get the protection. Okay, there's the spinner. Uh, the music stops. We don't want the music to stop. Right, we don't want the music to stop. We see an energy switch, okay. So we're gonna see the ADP GX, not bad. <coughs> not bad, kind of compensates for <coughs> not getting the attachment on turn one for sure. It's more of a surprise, but I still don't mind stripping energy of this guy with my GX, to nullify essentially his GX. Okay, so definitely doing this, definitely doing this, definitely evolving, this is going to be pretty key. And let's go ahead and Stella Wish for a Metal Saucer. Metal Saucer. The Shrine is also like sort of benefiting us as well. And sure, I'll protect this for now. Oh, it doesn't seem super necessary. And like with Berserker and in play, <coughs> even though I don't have the bonus damage, I can still one KO stations past the, um, the Metal Frying Pan. But now, with Metal Frying Pan and the full Metal Wall GX, my opponent can never get past me. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's raining, so I'll probably ooh, so I'm gonna go down in between turns, and that's not great. I mean it's not the biggest of deals, but it's not great of course. Um I do need a metal energy. Can I find it here? Maybe. Otherwise I'm just gonna have to research. Okay. So I won't find it here. So I'm gonna save the Great Catcher. 
Because, like, if I kill this guy, I'm probably just gonna win. So I'll grab that, and then let's just research. I lose double custom, I do find the energy. That's what we really needed. Let's retreat. We get the KO. My opponent cannot get the KO. He gets three prizes, sure, but he has no energy in play. <clears throat> He's already down two metal saucers, so should be in a fine spot. Should be in a fine spot. And so I'll be right back. I need to uh, close every window. One second. Alright, so is that two metal pa metal saucers? Yeah, my opponent found both metal saucers. Does find a great ca a Pokemon catcher, oof. So that could have been game, right? Because of the GX attack, my Detene would have just simply gone down. <coughs> so he does have custom catchers left, two of them. He probably plays at least three Pokemon catchers, so... We're not out of this yet. I feel like this is a big mistake though. But I feel like this is a big, big mistake because he doesn't really gain anything from this other than me KOing his Seijin. Right? Uh, as long as I can find a switch. I find that a turn too late. I'll play this. Okay, I do have a switching card left and a metal saucer, so either works. I just need to get this KO this turn. I just really need this KO this turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and research. Don't really need uh, to marry away that hand. No switch. Switch is one of the last three cards in my deck. Can I find it? 33% chance? Nope. Okay. So this is not ideal, but it's also not terrible. I feel like I'm definitely gonna do this, and that should be game, right? That should absolutely be game. With no energy in play, this was a mistake. Because if I can't cost this guy, then my opponent has another chance at <coughs> winning by costing the Dedene. But now he has no metal saucers left, no energy. So that was a big overextension. Like that's a very clear, um, a very clear way to show just because you can attack, like you don't have to attack every turn. What you need to do is to win. Right? What you need to do is to win and have a plan to win. And attacking their ments, you get return KO'd, and then you're in a lot of trouble. You know? You're in a lot of trouble. We see the Pokemon Catcher now. Now we see the Head Slip. Uh, can he deal enough damage to KO me, though? With no Metal Saucers left, I don't think he can. We'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Does my opponent have an attacker that can KO my station? Um, and with two cards left in the deck, I am guaranteed to find my switch. It's not gonna be my top deck. Oh no, actually, I'm not guaranteed to find my switch. Ooh, that could be a problem. Okay, custom catcher. Uh, sad. Yeah, I feel like if my opponent had just been patient, he would have won. Okay, and that gives me the switch for sure. What does this do? Please don't. Okay, so we're still fine. Custom catcher. Switch. 
Okay, so I can't win. Oh no, I can't win. Thanks to this top deck. I had Acrobite to look at the next two and then Oranguru. So GG, I'm not gonna that. I definitely think if you don't just attack into my station, which you couldn't KO, I'm fairly sure you, you would have beat me right there. Yeah, so just something to keep in mind. Just because you can attack doesn't mean you have to go for it. Yeah. It, what you need to have is a plan to win the game. And your plan to win the game was finding the, the Ghost and attacking the Dedenne. That was the plan. All right. So that will be all from me today. Um, it's, been, it's been a really fun time. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who, who played. Thank you so much to everyone who challenged me. I will be doing this more often, I promise. I've, just, I've been really, really busy still. Really, really busy. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect to be this busy with the whole virus thing happening, but I will uh, be doing viewer battles more often. I promise, I promise I will be doing viewer battles more often. <coughs> I will also be doing um, the TCG Pokedex. I'm going to start building them and we can do viewer battles with like more fun decks as well. So that it's not all station versus station decks. And yeah, that will be all for me today. Thanks so much, just another Pokedex, GG. It was a pleasure as well. Thank you so much to everyone who watched. I will catch you on the next video on YouTube or I will catch you on the next stream, which will probably be tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday, I have nothing to do. So I will probably stream a little bit of PTGO, maybe Pokedex, maybe just Dex. I don't know. I'll let you guys know on my social media. If you're not following me yet on Facebook or Twitter, make sure you do that. And I will see you next time. Let's see who we can raid. Yeah, let's do a seeking raid. Let's do a seeking raid on someone. Um, let's do a seeking raid on someone. Uh, no one that I personally know is streaming really. So let's just raid Sierra. Yeah, she's not playing PTCGO, but let's just raid Sierra. So say hi to her for me, uh, spam the the emote, the seeking emote, if you have it, if you're a subscriber, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and bye-bye.